Hello, welcome to the basic cardiac telemetry interpretation series. In this post, we will differentiate multifocal atrial rhythm from wandering atrial pacemaker. Here are two strips. What is the interpretation? Multifocal atrial arrhythmia is comprised of two arrhythmias, which could be multifocal atrial rhythm and multifocal atrial tachycardia, depending on the rates. On the surface EKG, it's recognized by variable wave morphology of at least three different configurations, irregular PP, RR, and PR intervals. The change in P wave morphology is not gradual in contrast to WAP or wandering atrial pacemaker. The rate is less than 100 beats per minute for multifocal atrial rhythm, and if the rate is more than 100 beats per minute, the rate is called multifocal atrial tachycardia or chaotic atrial tachycardia. Another name for MAR or multifocal atrial rhythm is multifocal PAC. Some of the conducted P waves are wide because one of the bundle branches is still in the refractory period. The electrical impulse is blocked on one of the bundle branches. This delays the cardiac conduction, thereby creating a wide QRS. This intermittent block is called aberrancy. Multifocal atrial tachycardia with a block. This is an irregularly irregular rhythm with several different P wave morphology and variable PR interval. The QRS is wide and the rate is about 120 to 130 beats per minute. Wandering atrial pacemaker or WAP is a variant of sinus arrhythmia. This passive transfer of dominant pacemaker focus from the sinus node to latent pacemakers. The change in P-wave shape occurs gradual. There is only one pacemaker that is in control. It is recognized on the surface EKG with the change in P-wave contour that is gradual and after several cycle, cycles, the pacemaker shifts back to the sinus node. Now, do not confuse WAP with multifocal atrial rhythm. So, what is the interpretation? Strip A is multifocal atrial rhythm. Notice the different P wave morphology, variable PP, RR, and PR intervals. Some of the premature atrial beats are conducted with aberrancy, as you can see in QRS number T and number 8, which are highlighted with red arrows. Strip B is wandering atrial pacemaker or WAP. These kinds of rhythms are difficult to catch in short strips. However, cardiac telemetry makes it easy, but you need to inspect and follow the P-wave transition. Strip C is multifocal atrial tachycardia. Notice the variable P-wave morphology. This rhythm is often mis misread as atrial fibrillation. So be careful next time of this rhythm. Thank you and have a good day.